Hello, my name is Bas Wisseling from the NXT community and I'm here to explain Next to you and what it can mean for you. Let me first start off with explaining the differences between NXT and Bitcoin. NXT is not a proof of work coin like Bitcoin is. In Bitcoin you generate blocks and then you are rewarded with coins. These coins didn't at first exist on the network so Bitcoin creates new coins every time. In a proof-of-stake system like Next, all the coins are created at the start and no coins are added afterwards. Instead of generating blocks by extend, expending a lot of computer power, in proof-of-stake the blocks are generated by an algorithm which is based upon the amount of active coins within the network. That means all wallets that are open on the network get a proportionate chance to generate blocks and when they generate a block they get rewarded with the transaction fees within that block. This allows Next to run on much lighter system. It doesn't need that much computer power. You can run it on a desktop, you can run it on a smartphone, you can run it on a Raspberry Pi. So it's a completely different system than proof of work, which is Bitcoin, for instance, but also many other old coins. Next is also a completely new blockchain. It's not based on Bitcoin. The system, the concept is the same, but the code is completely new. Next was coded in Java and, it, and it's possible to communicate with it uh, for third-party applications via an API. Next is also a much faster block time. At this moment it's one and a half minute, but as the network scales it will go down to one minute per block, as opposed to Bitcoin which has 10 minutes per block on average. Also the next blocks are also on average. So this is, these are the most uh, visible uh, different parts of NXT. The most important difference between NXT and, and most coin systems is that Next is not a cryptocurrency, it is a crypto platform. That is, it aims at uh, being a complete economic system. And how does it do this? It does this by working with tokens instead of coins. Coins, what we call coins, are actually also tokens, so it's quite logical to extend that functionality. So within Next you have several transaction types that allow you to mark these tokens with different names to make them represent something else and trade them. The thing where most of this, the feature where most of this uh, happens is what is called the Next Asset Exchange. The Next Asset Exchange has been functional since April this year and it's an implementation of what is called colored coins. It is possible within the system to generate tokens and to assign arbitrary values to this. Why is this interesting? Because you can trade anything. You can uh, do several actions on the asset exchange. You can sell orders, buy orders, you can issue uh, coins, you can transfer coins without them even entering the market um, and these different functions allow very uh, a very diverse palette of options. For instance it's possible on the asset exchange to issue tokens that could be a loyalty coin. People are trading gold and silver on the asset exchange. It's possible to do crowdfunding, also possible to peg these uh, these tokens, for instance, to uh, membership cards. So for websites, it could be very interesting to use it as a system to track membership in an encrypted and cryptographic way. Another thing that Next makes possible is data transfer and data storing. Um, it, the system is called arbitrary messaging and it is at this moment used mostly for human readable messages but it is possible to send a thousand bytes of data to another account. This makes it possible for software and applications on the blockchain to communicate. That's the messaging system. It's also possible with the alias system 
to assign a random value to another random value. So most people use this for instance for marking their accounts at this moment. So instead of writing down and every time having to type the difficult account number, you can just use the alias. But it's also possible to build a complete decentralized DNS system with it. The nice thing about all these transaction types is that they take place on the same blockchain so they can work together to build different systems. So for instance some people are building a game on the blockchain and this game will use the messaging system for sending data. It will use the asset exchange for tracking the assets within the game world. It will also use the blockchain to, st to store persistent data on the blockchain so everybody has access to it everywhere. All these things can and will work together. Um, some people have made the messaging system, uh, incorporated it into the asset exchange, by which is possible by sending a message to an account, an action will be triggered. We have a few upcoming features that add to this. For instance, a lot of people will have heard from, uh, heard about the side change project the side chains project within Bitcoin. Next has the monetary system. The only difference with this is, is that all the added coins which are made by locking a certain amount of Next within an account as collateral for the coins on top, they will, they will work on the same blockchain. So it is possible to have collateral for a, for another system which has its own ecosystem. This can be private coins, can be internal coins for companies. But this is the monetary system and the coins don't need to follow the same rules as the NXT system does. Upcoming of course is also a hot item is multi-signatures which allow accounts to be locked until they have been signed off by several people, multiple people, more than two and one very powerful function which is the voting system and the voting system is also very uh, flexible it allows voting by amount of coins next it allows voting by account it will also allow voting by asset exchange by tokens so one can imagine a situation where you do balloting by sending people uh, sending people asset exchange tokens and only those people will be allowed to participate in the vote. It's also possible of course if a shareholder system would be in place that these people would vote. It's very flexible and uh, most of it is uh, API driven so it's not even needed to work from within the next system. You can call on it from the outside. There are many things possible. If you're interested, you can contact me. I'm here on the fair all days. So uh, you can find us at the next inside, the next booth. If you want more information, you can read up on it on the site, nextinside.org. You can contact me directly by email on bass at nextinside.org or you can contact me via Skype, damelon365. I hope to hear from you, I hope to speak to you. Um, if you need support from our developers, we'll be happy to offer it to you. And I hope to share, I hope you will enjoy the Crypto Money Expo. Thank you.